so say you want to display a custom message when you open a, open your terminal and an ASCII art and a random one-liner or a combination of these three or none you can use this repository terminal welcome okay so I'll give a quick uh, like installation guide as well as like uh, uh, instruction as to how to use this ok term terminal and uh, I'll also tell a little about uh, how to make pip packages and how you can use this repository uh, as a place where you can you know start creating pip packages so <coughs> let me start by just uh, uninstalling this uh, repository which is not very straightforward as you can see like uh, uh, you need to make sure that you turn Poketerm off before you uninstall it uh, otherwise it might just create some error messages uh, like if you, like it will try to run it even though the script isn't there so let's just uninstall it and uh, notice that I use sudo with the uh, sudo keyword and I cannot like uh, since this is a pip package make sure that you're not uh, in the you know uh, in a virtual environment or even the base co uh, conda environment so let's just get out of that and uh, if you don't have a conda or like a virtual environment then no need to worry about that so pip uninstall uh, poketerm and make sure that you use the sudo keyword okay okay so this is now successfully uninstalled so uh, actually I did not uh, like uh, turn this off just to show you uh, what might happen if I open the uh, you know uh, this thing a terminal without turning it uh, off so you can see that poketerm okay command not found reinstall poketerm okay, okay and turn it off okay so this thing is there and uh, uh, so what we'll need to do is install it again so I'll show you like how to install it now so we have to do it anyway so this won't break your system so no need to worry that if you uh, you know accidentally uninstall it without turning it off it will just give you this error message this is the default error message and this is like the uh, custom error message that I added just in case someone uninstalls it so you can do a sudo pip install okay now make sure that you're not in a virtual environment again so first do conda deactivate okay now pip install okay term okay we need to add the pseudo keyword okay so it says it successfully installed poketon and uh, chances are that uh, it will successfully install because I have tested in uh, quite a few systems uh, so on uh, like Debian based systems at least like Ubuntu I have tested it but I don't know about Mac and I don't know how, what will happen if you run it on some other distributions of Linux as well so if you guys can confirm that it works then it works because it does use some system files uh, because of the nature of the program itself and uh, so let's just come to the program now and uh, let's see how it works so now it's installed and let's just close this terminal and open a fresh one to see if it works 
so as you can see it works so this was the uh, it it is actually using the same configuration file so it leaves behind some junk configuration file af even after you uninstall it uh, I'll probably rectify that in the future but uh, it's it's a very small file and it, it does nothing basically so you can probably even look it up uh, wherever it is installed so it will probably be there or on your home home folder uh, so you can do activate to get out of the the environment and uh, you need to uh, like let's say we need to ch change this custom so let's just look up the help first okay so you can uh, pull this up whenever you forget the commands so poketum h and uh, <coughs> starting from down like we can see like uh, say we want to see uh, how it is running with our current configuration so you can do a pocket term s so you so that you don't need to open a new terminal every time you need to you know test the configuration you can turn it on or off completely the pocket term and then let's just change this message so we have this uh, thing this command so let's just use that pocket term uh, you can use minus m or you can use hyphen hyphen message so I'll probably do a hyphen m and do a uh, change message which is a rather weird message but let's just see change message so I actually don't like having a custom message uh, so I'll probably just change that Okay, Tom. Um, M, no message. So I'll th this will just remove the message altogether. So okay, Tom. S. So there's no message anymore. You can also change the these ASCII arts. So how do you go about doing that? Is like. <coughs> Uh, you have a list of Pokemons here, so you can choose those Pokemons and uh, just like Poketom P and Pikachu. So let's just see how it looks like now. So this is your Pikachu, and uh, it's the one from the memes. Um, you can even add your own ASCII arts or you can remove the ASCII arts altogether like from getting displayed so you can do no ASCII and now when you do Poketown uh, show so it will only show the random one liner so these random one liners are actually like coming from a huge data set so if you go to the repository you can see it over here so this is this huge file containing a list of one-liners like I guess 10, 10k one-liners are there yeah around 10k so 9.5k and uh, uh, they're actually pretty good uh, like uh, a lot of them are very funny so yeah let's remove this and, uh, you can even add your own ASCII art what you need to do is like just come to this file uh, but you'll need to like uh, install it uh, make the pack like install the package locally the pip package if you choose to do that uh, or you can actually go in the place where it is installed and change it over there so what you you'll need to do is like just uh, add a dictionary content like this just copy this and like paste it and remember that this is like a multi-line string uh, so which is being used so uh, yeah so you just create a new dictionary element if you know Python you'll know what I'm say talking about so just, just add a ASCII art to the Pokemon's list and you can actually have your own ASCII arts as well getting displayed 
and, uh, and so so yeah I said that I'll tell you a little about creating packages so this is this might actually be a good uh, starting point like it's not very basic but it's like it will give you an idea so like uh, all the code codes and stuff are actually inside over here so this is the main file and uh, these are like the uh, arguments that you will pass and parse uh, then later on like you can go through all this to see what they actually do it's like basically they're hard coded over here uh, to do whatever functionalities they're doing and uh, like if the show is there then it will you know go to the config and just uh, change it or like whatever you are asking uh, it will do that and uh, it will also change the config as required so yeah let's get out of this main file and uh, you have the one liners and then you have you know, one liners is actually all that there is it's a small project and uh, so yeah so this this was created using a, a script so it's basically like the all the one liners uh, create like I stored them in a list and I'm directly accessing it so uh, because like I didn't want to have a data folder separately uh, with the static files so I just created a list so yeah I guess that should be it